Hey y'all, it's Nicole from Cause We Love To Scrap. Today I am going to be working with the Sketch Sunday crew. That is um, a ton of people now, so I'm not gonna list them all off, but I will have them down below in the description so you can go and check out their videos or their Instagram to see what they've created with this sketch. Um, first thing I'm gonna let you know is I'm going to be documenting this photo of my nephew. He, this is on the 4th of July and over here there's fireworks going off but he's more interested in um dousing the fireworks with the hose than he was watching the fireworks so yeah mission accomplished there um so i thought that was hilarious and then um i'm gonna be using this sketch which is i printed it out and it's not a good printout but um it is from by me so we are going to be using this sketch this week and um, I'm going to be using the Rosie's Studio uh, Bayfair collection to make that layout. And um, I'm also going to be using, I think I'm going to be using this Mango Tango Vibes that I just got from the um, Shimmers September color kits. So um, I'm going to be using that on the background and I'm going to be also using this uh, foundations page from Vicki Booten to add that mixed media. And I'm going to be doing it kind of back here, back behind the, um, the little circles. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this in a circle or not. I mean, I guess it would look, it would look good. And then just do two pattern papers or do three pattern papers and leave this as like um, a square. I don't know, I don't know yet. We'll see what we're gonna do there. So um, let's go ahead and let's get started. So I'm starting with paper piecing and I'm going to find the papers that I want to make my little circles and my great big circle. Um, I'm going through my papers here and I grabbed this one for my uh, great big circle and sorry if you can hear my dog in the background he's mad at himself <laughs> um, and then I grabbed this gold geometric for my little circles I was gonna grab the red one but I do plan to do some red mixed media on the background so I didn't want it to be too much red so I went ahead off camera and cut that in a circle and then I distressed it. And here I'm going to grab my circle dies and um, I think about which dies that I wanna do. And I go with this size here. Luckily my picture is um, very small so I can use the smaller die. And then I go off camera and I die cut them and then I distress them. And then um, my dog is in the background having a good time rolling around and kicking and <laughs> doing all kinds of stuff. Um, here's how I want my page to be set up. So I'm going to draw some little lines for me to know where I want to do my mixed media. I'm gonna use Mango Tango and I'm just gonna spray it on my page. And then of course I'm going to take the nozzle, I'm gonna flick some um, splatters around my area there. I'm going to also use the nozzle to make some bigger looking splatters, like that. And then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna come back to it after it is dry. And um, I'm going to pop up this um, this circle with using some Big Mama foam tape from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So there we go. I'm gonna show you where I put all these, but I'm not gonna make you watch me um, take them off. Now my other dog is playing with a squeaky toy. <laughs> they are just having a good time this morning. Um, yeah, so there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my, um, little circles down. 
and of course I had to um, do two layers of foam on the parts that are on the red since that part is um, yeah on one layer and the blue part is on another layer there we go and then we're gonna work on the last one maybe or we're gonna work on my picture nope the last one's first so here we go there we go now all of my those are done and now I'm gonna work on my picture there we go looking good so now I'm gonna bring in this paper I'm going to go off screen and fussy cut that and then I'm going to add these to my um, circles here that looks pretty good um, I'm gonna bring in my other embellishments but first of course I'm going to glue these down I do move that red flower over to the top of the picture. There we go. And then those are all glued down. So now I'm looking at these puffy stickers. Um, let's see. I have, oh, I'm gonna do the title, which is Smile. And of course, I am gluing this down as well. There we go. And then I have um, this little flag tag thingy. And I think it says, love this. And then I come in with this little sentiment that I'm just gonna put right on my picture. Here's the little flag that I am gonna put on there. And now here I'm going through the ephemera. So I'm just kind of going through seeing what will work here and there. Um, I am going to use this as a journal spot. And um, what else do I bring in here? That says today is amazing and I am gonna actually move it up to where it says smile so um, it's going to be part of my title I grab um, these three circle things circle elements with hearts on it and I'm gonna add one to each of the yeah clusters there we go here I grab this um, little sentiment instead of the yeah um, what does it say enjoy the little things and then I'm going to of course put that journal spot right there and then that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go ahead and put those um, ephemeras away and then I'm going to go ahead and stick everything down but first I'm going to rough up the edges so that it doesn't look so perfect there we go and that's the little circle that I'm going to go ahead and rough up and then glue down I went off camera to go ahead and distress that since it was um, big enough for me to use my distress tool same thing with that big sentiment as well and it's gonna go right there I put a couple of pieces of foam down and then tape the other side there we go and then here I'm going to come in with that little circle again. I really enjoyed this um, page. I think it really turned out great. 
uh, I added my journaling and then there was no room to put the date so I'm gonna put it on this little circle over here and then of course I have to make a XOXO so I'm gonna put it on the other circle here are the circa 2024 sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I will have them linked down below. You can use my code Nicole15 for 15% off of your order for those. And then I glue them down off camera and then that's it. So I am going to have the close-ups coming up. Um, thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, pop down a little sparkly, um, sparkle in, <clears throat> in the comments. And then, um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.